well-pressed trousers, an outward symbol that you're a sharp-dressed man ready to meet whatever life throws at you. You'd think ironing your pants is a simple task, but look around. It seems that most men are wearing wrinkled trousers or slacks with no crease. What's going on? Why is such a simple task so difficult? Well, it turns out that the skill of ironing your trousers isn't something we're born with. In fact, most men don't know the tricks and tips to ironing trousers effectively. In today's video, we're going to cover how to quickly and easily iron your trousers. Here's what you need to get started. First, a clean iron. You need to make sure the iron is clean. A dirty iron, it'll leave rust or sediment stains on light colored trousers. Test for this by first ironing a white rag or old pillowcase to see if it leaves a stain. To get rid of sediment buildup, run a solution of 50% vinegar and distilled water through the iron steamer until clean. Next up, we've got clean trousers. You wanna make sure the trousers are free from dirt and stains before you start to iron. The heat from an iron will permanently set stains. So be careful if you're ironing after having worn your trousers once. Next up, you need a standard ironing board. It's much easier to use an ironing board than ironing on a table. Now, the ironing board doesn't need to be fancy. A basic ironing board picked up at a local department store is all you need. Finally, distilled water. Distilled water is key as you don't wanna have sediment left over once the water evaporates. Pour the distilled water into your iron if it has the steaming feature. This is gonna make it much easier to press wrinkles out of the fabric. You may also wanna use distilled water in a spray bottle for getting rid of tougher creases on the trousers. To start, set your iron to the right heat setting for your fabric. Always check the care label on your trousers to ensure you don't damage the fabric. The general rule is low heat for synthetic fabrics, low to medium heat for wools, and high heat for linen and cotton. If you're dealing with a blend, go with the lower temperature of the two and slowly increase if needed. One important note, when ironing dark colored trousers, as well as more delicate fabrics like wools, you will never push the iron along the fabric. Instead, you will press the fabric evenly laying the iron on top of the fabric for a few seconds, then lifting it straight up before moving to the next spot. Failure to do this can result in you damaging the top layer of the fabric and creating a sheen. Winning. Step one, ironing the pockets. You wanna make sure the pocket lining isn't wrinkled. If you have close fitting trousers, the wrinkled pockets can show through the fabric. A quick pass with the iron will solve this problem. Step two, the top of the trousers. Pull the lining out of the front pocket. Press the top of the trousers, being careful around pleats and other folds. Put the front pocket back in place and then move towards the seat of the trousers. Pull out the back pocket and press around it. Put the pocket back in, then finish up by pressing the waistband, being careful around buttons and belt loops. Flip the trousers over and repeat the process on the other side. Step three, the bottom crease. Lay your trousers out flat. You will work on one leg at a time. Flip the leg you aren't working on over the end of the board. For this next step, you will make sure the seams of the pants are lined up properly in the middle. Smooth the fabric with your hands before ironing to ensure there aren't any large folds. You will now work to form the crease. Press the iron at the edge of the cuff on one side, then repeat the step on the other side. You should now have a sharp crease formed a few inches along each side of the leg. Step four, the top crease. You will now do the same thing at the top of the trouser legs, making sure the seams are lined up in the center and then gently press a crease on each side of the leg. You will form the crease roughly six inches below the waistband. You don't want a crease that goes all the way to the top. The bottom of the pockets on the inside is a good stopping point. Or if the pants are pleated, you can crease all the way to one of the pleats. Step five, the middle crease. Now that you have the beginning and end points for your crease in place, you will now travel down the pant leg, gently pressing the crease all the way along the leg. Make sure you're setting the iron straight down, then picking it straight up again. You don't wanna press and slide the iron along the fabric. Step six, the center leg. Now that the creases are in place, you can focus on removing any wrinkles present in the middle of the trouser leg. Use the same technique setting down and picking up the iron to remove any wrinkles along the fabric. You don't need to iron both sides of the same leg. Pressing one side is enough. It's time to repeat the process on the other leg. Flip the trousers over and go through each step again. Step seven, 
Final touch-up. If you find that the front and seat of the trousers require a little extra attention, you can slip the pants over the end of the ironing board and give them a quick press. Be sure to pull the pockets out to avoid creating unwanted creases. Pro tips. When ironing cotton khaki trousers, you can actually use the standard push and slide ironing method. Because of the light colored fabric, it won't leave a shine. Two, try to iron your trousers and shirts in a batch. The setup process can take as long as the actual ironing. Ironing all of your clothes at once will save you time. Three, if you're ironing wool trousers, use a low heat setting. Gentlemen, I recommend using a pressing cloth to avoid damaging this delicate fabric. A simple white cotton sheet works perfectly. Four, iron your cotton trousers as soon as you pull them out of the wash. This saves them from the wear and tear of the dryer and the moisture will make it easier to get a crisp finish when ironing. Five, decrease ironing time by sliding aluminum foil under your ironing board to reflect back the heat. There you go, gentlemen. Now you know how to quickly and effectively iron your trousers. For a detailed step-by-step -step guide on how to iron your trousers, check out the support article at realmenrealstyle.com. Now be sure to sign up for email notifications. That way you can watch my videos when they first come out. Now, sometimes I offer exclusive deals that are time sensitive. So make sure that you never miss out on one by being part of the early notification squad.